What's up everybody? Welcome back to another build episode over here at Sawdust and Wanderlust. Today we got something really cool we're working on. This is one of my top sellers. It actually pretty much is one of the only two, three things that I really sell a good amount of. Um, it's really popular, so I figured let's go ahead and build it. Uh, it is a bath caddy. It sits on the bathtub like this, so you can chill, watch some Netflix while you're taking a bath. It's got some cool components on it. Uh, you've got some tea candle light holders here. You've got your phone holder and backrest for that. You've got your wine glass holder here, which keeps it nice and secure because you know you can't really take a bath without some wine. And then there is a wine bottle holder here because at some point during the bath, this wine glass is going to need replenishing. Uh, added some mandalas on there for some cool aesthetics. But without further ado, let's build it. for this project you're basically just using a 1x10 or a 1x12 and then a 2x2 as the backer for the phone and 1x2s for the legs. You can get whatever size board that you want because you're only going to need about 29 inches from it. That's the size that I make my boards but it's probably a good idea for you to take a measuring tape and measure the width of your tub so you can get a perfect snug fit. So if your miter saw is not big enough to cut the entire width of the 1x10 or 1x12, what you can do is make that first cut and then take a speed square and mark out where the blade needs to drop down to just so you can make it a little bit easier on yourself to kind of gauge exactly where that next cut needs to be and just line things up properly. Me personally, I'm not really good at freehanding anything, let alone a full even circle, that's impossible. So what I do is I just take a wine bottle and trace around that and that's gonna be the wine bottle holder for the bath caddy. For the tea light candle holders, what I like to do is I take a tube of caulk and kind of space it out as evenly as possible make a little reference line so I know I've got everything kind of lined up and I take a tube of caulk and just trace around that and that works perfectly for the candles. So once you've got all your circles traced out and your boards clamped down, go ahead and grab your plunge router, set it to a minimal depth and go ahead and route out those circles. The next thing I like to do is I find the center of the board and I measure either four or six inches out from either side depending on whether it's going to be a phone or a tablet there. I like to mark that out just so I have an idea of where my slot's going to go uh, for the phone or tablet. Then from there I can figure out where I'm going to put my wine glass holder. I just have to make sure not to put it too close to the tablet or phone slot and also I don't want to put it in the same place where I'm going to have one of the legs going that's going to keep the bath caddy nice and secure in the tub. After you've got everything marked up, go ahead and drill and cut it out. After that, you are in route to route out the phone and tablet holder. What I do is I mark four inches up from the bottom of the bath caddy. I do this because my plunge router has got a two inch distance from where it makes its plunge cuts to where the actual flat edge is on the router. 
So if I want my slot two inches from the bottom, I measure four inches from the bottom, clamp down my straight edge, and I get my router down to around about a half inch depth, and go ahead and plunge cut that slot in. Alright, so now that you've got everything cut out and plunged out, the next step is to get to sanding. Take anywhere between 150 and 220 grit and give the entire top a nice sand over. Take down any rough edges, any splinters, any pen marks that you may have left and go ahead and you know round over the corners and everything as well. Now it's on to the legs for the bath caddy. Take some one by twos and mark them out just a little bit shorter than what the width of the bath caddy is. Cut two of them out and sand them down. You just want to pay attention to the orientation in which you have them spaced out and basically what way it's going to make the bath caddy face. What I like to do is I take the bath caddy, I take it to my tub, I set it on top, and I take a pen and rub it along the inside edge of the, of the tub just so that's a perfect snug fit. But a pretty safe call is three and a half inches on the left hand side in from the edge and then five inches in from the right hand side of the edge. Belt sander comes in really handy when it comes to the legs and the phone backer for this project. For the legs, you really want to take down any splinters, any sharp edges. You're going to have those close to your legs or somebody's going to have those close to their legs and you don't want them getting scratched or cut from the legs. So you really want to take the time to round over any sharp spots and then also for the foam backer I like to use the belt sander and carve in some geodesic kind of cool crystal looking shape. break out the stain now that you've got everything sanded how you'd like it i like to use this dark jacko bean walnut stain which i use in a lot of the stuff that i make and if you've ever seen me make anything before you know i like to lather it on a real thick coat of the stain and then i take some paint thinner and just wipe over the top of it to kind of give some good contrast For attaching the legs, I don't like to use wood glue. Whenever I make these for people, I encourage them to send me the measurements of their bathtub. Some people don't, so in that case, I just make it to the standard size. And in case there's any adjustments that need to be made, if the legs are too wide or too small, whatever, you can take them off and readjust it pretty easily. that I make I like to add some mandalas on there I think it just looks pretty cool but I like to do this step before I put on the phone backer otherwise it's just gonna get in the way of being able to tape down all my stencils what's really key when you are using a stencil is having a stencil brush and only using a little bit of paint at a time if you use a foam brush it can push the paint under the stencil and especially if you're using a, a lot of paint it's gonna get really messy really quick so I'd rather do three light coats and maintain some really crisp lines than to get it done in one coat and just have it be blotchy and messy To put the phone
foam backer on. All you do is throw some wood glue down, make sure you got it in the right place so that it's got a good angle for the phone to rest on, and then shoot some two inch brad nails through to hold it in place while the glue dries. If you have any glue squeeze out, just take a damp rag and wipe it off. last thing you got to do is put your finish coat on. You want to use something durable and pretty water resistant since this is going to be in your bathtub. I've used Thompson's water seal, I've used uh, spray on spar urethane, and I've used triple thick poly. I like the spray on stuff, it just goes on a lot easier and a lot cleaner. Thanks for watching, I hope you liked the video, and if you haven't already, go ahead and hit like and subscribe. I've got a few videos that I'm working on right now and should have out pretty shortly. Um, until that time comes though, see ya.